so dark chocolates they are amazing they not only decrease your blood pressure but also they increase the polyphenols in your body in fact so it's really nice but to mind you the chocolates should be taken in the form of dark chocolates and if possible without sugar not those sweet chocolates i would say whatever next whatever food or what which we take or eat um there are some is yeah uh, misconceptions as well so for example a lot of people they tend to think that chocolates are associated they are pretty high in caffeine but it's not always true like this so what you can see it like this it can in fact uh not so high in caffeine then similarly it's not even so high in saturated fat but i would really suggest if you are using really sweet chocolate yes of course the calories will be pretty high and uh, it is a good source of magnesium copper iron and zinc one of the other things i would say is remember there is difference between chocolate and candies chocolate is the one which is made of the dark ones and from cocoa not the one with sugary candies okay a lot of people especially to the kids we, we always say like this that uh, no uh, that they will always also be making is they make cavities so but how do cavities are formed we need to understand that cavities are formed when the bacteria in the mouth is able to metabolize the sugar and starch from whatever diet you are taking so what happens is so whenever you eat anything they will be able to make acid and this acid then eats the enamel of the teeth which will be causing the cavity so whatever you eat if you are having a good oral hygiene there will be no problem at all never so this is another big misconception that chocolates cause acne which is of course not at all true and you know it now why even about the weight gain as i said it it all is matters what are you eating it with is it having too much